Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today I have the privilege of making a Nerf gun styled cake for Jed, my boy who is turning 8 this year. Can you believe that? Which also means my website howtocookthat.net is turning 8 too. And lots of you guys have requested a Nerf gun cake in some of the requests, so let's make it. For the vanilla sprinkle cake we need butter, icing sugar, eggs, almond meal, flour, sprinkles, baking powder and vanilla. Add the icing sugar to the butter and beat those together. And you can get all these recipe quantity details on my howtocookthat.net website along with other cake recipes if you don't want sprinkle cake, you can get chocolate cake, whatever you like. Pour in the almond meal and let that mix through and then add in the eggs. Add a good dash of vanilla and then the flour and fold that through until it's just combined. Then you wanna spread that out into three baking trays. Once it's all spread out evenly between them, sprinkle on some sprinkles. Now the reason I don't mix these through the cake batter earlier is because the color tends to run from the sprinkles and make the cake batter a weird color. So I wanna keep the cake batter vanilla colored and then the sprinkles adding little dots of color through it. So I like to sprinkle it on top and then give it a quick mix through and then that's it. Just bake them in the oven like that and then let them cool. Once they are cooled, you need to level them and then cut around the cake template and you can get that template on the website too. Place the first layer of cake onto the board. Now, I don't think you'll find a cake board this long. You'll have to make one. I cut a piece of MDF to this size and then just covered it in foil. Put the magazine part three fingers away from the handle and this piece is the only piece that's staying one layer of cake. The others are all gonna be two. Squared on a little bit of milk to keep that cake super moist and then spread on a thin layer of buttercream. Add that second layer of cake on top everywhere but the magazine. As I said, that's staying one layer. Now you need to round out the top of the cake. Just use a serrated knife and cut off a corner all the way along that top edge. Then push the knife in towards the board to round it out on the bottom side. Now cover the whole thing in buttercream and then take some acetate and round it out along that long barrel there. Just drag it along to smooth and round it out. Just slowly and carefully running it all the way along. Now take some bright orange fondant and place that over the top front bit of the cake. Now I have a video on how to color fondant and I'll link you to that at the end so that you can get these really bright colors. Run your hand along the edge just to tuck it under where we trimmed on the underneath there to round it out. And then use a fondant smoother to make sure there are no lumps or bumps. Because this is a plastic toy, in our eyes we expect it to be smooth and perfect without any bumps, so you have to try and make sure you do a really good job of smoothing it out. Cut off the excess at the end of the gun and push it down flat. And then again use your fondant smoother just to flatten it out that little bit more. Cut out a circle of cake from the center and use a little spoon to scoop out some of that cake so you have a hollow. Now we don't want this cake to dry out, so I'm gonna add a little bit of melted chocolate into the middle and spread it around to seal out the air. Then just add a ring of orange fondant over the top around that circle. Next, add a rectangle of orange to the back and trim that off just like we did with the other piece. The next bit that is orange is the magazine. Cover that in fondant and smooth it out flat. Now to make the corners a bit more square, just put the fondant smoother next to the edge and then use your finger to push the fondant towards the fondant smoother. If this is the first cake you've ever made or you don't have a smoother, just tightly wrap a small hardcover book in baking paper and use that here against it instead of using a fondant smoother. You don't have to have all these tools, you can use other things. 
Use a pizza cutter to trim the excess off. Now you might need a knife to trim right into the corners because if we use the pizza cutter all the way into the corners there, we're gonna cut into the cake. Roll out some black fondant and place that over the bottom half of the back of the cake. Now use your fingers just to smooth it around the shape of the cake and then you wanna trim off the excess from around the base. Time for blue fondant. I love these bright colors. Spray it with some cooking oil to stop the template from sticking and then cut out the shape shown in the blue outline and just leave it longer on the three edges that are gonna drape over the edges of the cake. Put that onto your cake and again, smooth it out and make sure it's sitting straight and flat on your cake. Then use a knife to add indents for the details on the blue section. These details just make it look a lot better than if you leave it plain. Repeat that same process, adding blue to the barrel of the gun. On this piece, I cut the slits before I added it to the cake. On some of the other pieces, I cut them later. I'm not sure which method worked better. It was a similar result, I think, with both, so do it whichever way you prefer. Add lines and indents, and these also help it look very straight, so it helps give that straight line to your eye so you feel like it's more perfect and more like a toy. Use the template to cut out the shapes that go over the top and put them into place just using a little bit of water to make them stick. Then use a straw to make circle indents at the top. Add a blue piece around the top in the middle there and then add another piece over the top of that followed by four more strips of blue fondant. And then keep adding all the blue pieces of fondant onto the cake until they are all done. Then we need to make the hole where the trigger is. Feel where the hole is using your finger and then cut it in the center using a sharp knife. Just cut a cross shape and then push down the fondant at the edges. Add a rectangle of black fondant to cover two sides on the inside there. And you probably need to use a straw or something long to help you press it into the edges. And then just add another piece of black on the other side of the inside so it's all covered. Cut the gray handle piece and add it over the top. And then cut out the little triangle shape from the template and push it into the fondant so you can see where it should be. Remove the paper and then use a mini straw to add those little circles. And then emphasize the lines on the edges using a knife. Do the same for the top triangle and then use the back of a spoon to make indents along the edge. Then add the black strips on the handle down the side there. Now all of these details are functionless on these guns. You don't need any of them. They're purely for looks. Imagine how plain this toy would look if it didn't have all of those bits on them. I don't know who designs all these bits. What's the job title of a person who designs the decoration parts on toys? Not the functionality of them, not making the Nerf guns actually shoot, but just the decorative bits. Sounds like a pretty fun job to me, not one that I ever heard about when I was choosing uni courses. Cut out the numbers and put them into place. Now this bit actually does have a function. It tells you how many foam bullets fit into the magazine. Once they are on the magazine, straighten them up so that they look good. And then add strips down over the top. Add the other shapes as shown on the template and then indent them. I'm using the back of a spoon here. If you don't have anything that's the right shape, you can always just cut the corner off a cleaner razor and use that for your indents. Add a little bit of orange near the trigger and make three little lines indenting into it. Put on another piece for the button and add lines going all the way across it for the grip. And now add some strips of orange across the top of the gun barrel. Again, these have no function. They're just there to make it look good. Add the trigger into place. We do need that one, pushing it up to one side of the fondant. And then roll some snakes of black and add them into place. Now cut out some letters and add them on. You could write Nerf, but I'm writing Jed. If you don't have a letter cutter to do the writing on this, then you could pipe the letters on out of buttercream or watch my other video showing different ways you can make the letters out of fondant if you don't have a cutter. 
Add the word elite to the gun and then roll some snakes of blue and top them with a little bit of orange for the Nerf bullets. You ready? Three, two, one. Open your eyes. Whoa! That's amazing! You even took the Nerf bullets at the front. I really, really like it. I want to eat it now. And then it's party time. Happy birthday to my beautiful son, Jetty. I love you so much. Here's the video on fondant letters and how to color fondant and more cake videos. Subscribe to How to Cook That for more cakes, chocolates and desserts and leave all your requests in the comments below. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday.